You are listening to an exclusive preview of this week's episode of STF Underground. Maybe one of the best promos that I've heard in a very, very long time uh, from this past weekend's Nightmare Family video with, uh, you know, the road to double or nothing. Cody talking about his upcoming match with his brother, Dustin, a.k.a. Gold Dust. And Cody said something pretty amazing. I'm, I'm just going to play the clip real quick. Let, let's put on the clip. I'm not here to kill Dustin Rhodes. I'm here to kill the Attitude Era. My entire lot, my whole class of peers, has been compared to these gilded late 90s through the early 2000s for over a decade, and it's an utter sham. Sure, you paved the roads for us, but gosh, you set the speed markers at 35 because you are terrified of any of us putting our foot down on the pedal. You mean to tell me some pissant bodybuilder making every match a no DQ, meandering around the crowd, throwing the jib cam at his opponent, compares with a Kenny Okada match? Or some brawl and panty spectacular can match up with what the women did last September 1st? Or even Dwayne, as electric as it was, rhyming and raising, Was it really better than what Punk said sitting on that stage? So I thought about cutting this clip. I thought about making it a little bit shorter and just having little portions of it. But every single portion of this clip that, you know, we just heard for about the last minute here really added to everything of what Cody just said from the portion where he talked about the road was laid out for them to the big <laughs> punch in the gut there Skadoosh. with the whole <laughs> pissant bodybuilders to comparisons. I mean, Fox, before I give you my thoughts on all this, what what are your what are your thoughts on this? Cody wants to kill the attitude era. I just enjoyed hearing a promo that made me feel feelings again. I feel like every promo I've been listening to, uh, especially on WWE programming, is just some long-winded way to get to a buzzword or catchphrase, right? It's like, we're going to do this in order to get these hands. it (laughs) down. Fill in the blank, uh, really. (laughs) Yeah, really. Every promo has been, I could do it right now. I could do it right now. We're, we're, We're talented enough. I think we can get on this podcast and be like, you know what? We're on this podcast. This is episode 13, maybe 14, if you consider it a bonus episode. And this is the podcast that Doug E. Wrestling built. Back to you. (laughs) We could do this all day. And I feel like just to hear a promo that felt real without being too tryhardy, um, you, you, I know you like the towing the line between reality and kayfabe, and I think this was done really deftly. I think this was done. There was not a wasted word. You know what I mean? Every single word had meaning for sure. Every single word led towards something else. It had some deep underground meaning. Um, I think the word that resonated with everybody was pissant, especially because of Triple H's promo during uh, the Hall of Fame referring to that pissant company, AEW. And he just um, took it and he volleyed it right back and it was nice. And talking about the and realistically especially for the guys now the these attitude era stars that continue having these matches namely in most recent history uh, triple h kurt angle undertaker and Shawn michaels particularly kurt angle and triple h having these no dq matches that you know you just see these old guys being hardcore and whatever and um and it, it really it's pretty goes slow and, pretty tame yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, especially talking about the WrestleMania match between Batista and Triple H, no DQ. And it really is just, you know, throwing things at each other, putting each other through tables. And not that that does not have its own entertainment value. And some of my favorite matches ever 
have those kind of things in there. But when you compare it to an Okada Omega or a Omega and Jericho. Like what you heard? New episodes drop every week. If you want more content, follow us on Facebook at STF Underground Podcast or on Twitter and Instagram at STF Underground.